and Tim Zhu says that uh, Jamel Charlo is on uh, the decline. He also reveals that now the fight sounds like it's getting pushed back again. But also, first and foremost, he'll be fighting in Australia against Carlos Ocampo, former opponent of Errol Spence. Um, also, opponent who went the distance with Sebastian Fondora, I believe, in his last two fights, maybe. I think he got a win before that. He'll be fighting Carlos Ocampo June 18th from Australia. So, I mean, um, I don't, you know, it is what it is. Um, I mean, I, I if I ain't doing nothing, I'll watch. I know Roley fight this weekend. Um, if I ain't doing nothing, I'll watch Roley. I don't really plan to do nothing but do some more screen cleaning and shit. Um, but, uh. I you know if I ain't doing nothing I'll watch it, uh, so I don't know if it's gonna be streamed in the states or on Showtime. Campo has made two appearances on Showtime that I remember, and that was against Fondor and Errol Spence. So he's staying busy, he's staying active. They ain't gonna sit around and wait. Um, you know he getting fights, and PBC fighters ain't even getting fights. So this man out here, he fighting, he doing you know what he supposed to do because. You know, I would like to see him kind of like, kind of fight somebody that's more like Charlo. But hey, you get who you get in there. Um, he getting in the rhythm. He stands sharp. Um, and Charlo, you know, apparently Charlo gonna take a year and a half off with a hand injury. And if you're looking at it with Charlo, he talking about Carlos Ucampo. I mean, he talking about Canelo Alvarez. So it to me, like I said, I just got a feeling that he gonna drop them belts, or he gonna drop a belt. He ain't trying to fight Tim Zoo. I'm getting that feeling. You out here calling other people out, you know? And he did say in the Canelo video, if his hand get right, he willing to jump back in there. He ain't ducking nobody. They ain't trying to fight Tim Zoo. We all can tell they ain't trying to get in there with Tim Zoo. You can tell they ain't trying to get in there with Tim Zoo. And I don't know if it's not, you know, handing him the whole division or him not signing an Al or him winning and winning the whole division and get and winning all the belts and then he running back over to Australia. I told y'all they ain't trying to make that fight. And is he right, Jamil Charlo on the decline? I can't really say that. I mean, when you start getting injuries, your body uh no longer start being the same. So he really ain't had too many injuries that held him out the ring or that looked like that blatantly affected his um, time away from the ring, but to be out there, to be out a year and a half, you know, because it's been a year. It's coming up on a year. So then you say June, July, August, September, October, you know, November. That's that's a year and a half right there. So, he, you know, first it was, you know, you know, Tim Zoo's hoping to be July, August. Now, nah, I ain't going to let it be July, August. It's looking more like he said the end of the year. So you what you think? October, November, December. You know, and um, he said it's only one fight that they talk about in the Junior Middleweight Division is him and 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 Jamil Charlo, and I'm not sure he gonna get that fight, bro. He get the title shot, but I'm not sure he gonna get that fight. And the question is, you know, if Lara and Danny Garcia and Michael Zephyr work they shit out, do we go up and, and fight Lara for the WBA belt? Cause I know he ain't gonna fight Danny Garcia. Or is Zephyr end up, you know, coming out of there as the title top dog, you know, or do they reserve that for Errol Spence to jump over 54 and then come back to 54 to get a belt? Because if that's the case, if Bud and Errol fight, you know, and let's say Tim Zoo end up with a belt, you know, do Tim Zoo come back stateside and, and, and fight Earl or Terrence Crawford for the belt, you know, and then for, you know, Terrence Crawford, you know, obviously you're not about to, you know, go through the well, you can go through the junior middleweight division, fight Tim Zhu, wait for the mandatories to manifest, and then fight them and them, and then you collect undisputed at you know under you know middle at junior middleweight. But at that point, at that point in time, looking like what's what's rising up there, that's that's the best fight for him financially. I mean, because you're gonna have Australian money involved, you're gonna have American money involved, and same thing for Errol Spence. I think that becomes a more fruitful fight, you know, when you talk about the entire bag, even in the States or Australia, that, that's a more fruitful fight than fighting Aries Line Delar, in my opinion. So, like I said, Tim Zoo, even if he don't get the Charlo fight, he may be in position 
to get the WBO. He may be in position to get a Castano's rematch. He may be in position um, for a Terrence Crawford, Earl Spinner, winner or loser fight. So um, I, I just told you, I just got a gut feeling that, you know, Al Heyman not about to, you know, give him an opportunity to win, to, to do that. I'm telling y'all, man, even though they were talking about they was going to fight in January, we didn't have a venue or shit, nothing. And then all of a sudden he come up and he magically getting injured and shit. It really wasn't no venue, wasn't no tickets on sale or nothing. I'm like, damn, you know, it's like no November, December, you ain't hearing shit or whatever it was. You ain't hearing nothing. You know, you know, is it a coincidence that both Charlos out the ring for years? I'm going on years, you know, year and a half for one and a couple years for other. I don't know. I mean, you, you think the aces in the bullpen like Jamel Charlo, who hold every belt. You kind of think in your, in your mind, Errol Spence, Jamel Charlo, um, Deontay Wilder. Who else we got? Who else we got? Who else we kind of got in there? I'm trying to think of somebody else. Who else do we got? Uh, Leo Santa Cruz. Um, some of these dudes that they consider top fighters over there, you'll think that these dudes would be in the ring. Roley they got knocked out and came back already before Charlo get a fight in. So you would think that some of these dudes they got keep Thurman. When last time we seen Keep Thurman? Last February? February 2022. So what, March, April, May? So shit, it's you be going 18 months to keep Thurman. So you start to think like, bro, a lot of these, you know, I might talk about this in the video. A lot of these aces and PBC bullpen, the top fighters, they ain't got no activity level. And Tim Zoo and Terrence Crawford, you know, smart. They not waiting. They not waiting for them. And that's probably the best thing for Terrence Crawford. And, you know, that's, that probably points out a point, too, or makes a clear point that them not offering Crawford a fight. And he said they never talked about a warm up fight. Them not offering him a warm up fight and then roll into the Earl Spence fight. I mean, that just let you know. Show showtime, bro. That's when Nosa said that. I don't know about the long term, but right now we're here to stay for the, you know, and it's like, okay. Like it ain't like they ain't we ain't heard nothing about a show being announced, about about them not lining up a summer lineup or nothing. And, and, and Tim Zhu and Terrence, uh Terrence is smart. They went on and took fights. They went on and waited and took fights. They, they ain't bullshit around. They went on and took took fights. Stay active. Got money. Got into a rhythm. Ain't no activity like a real fight. And inactivity, inactivity is going is going is going to stop a lot of these dudes from reaching their true potential. It has. Reaching a true financial potential, which it probably has. It's going to stop a lot of these dudes from, you know, reaching milestones as far as title defenses and number of fights and, you know, and, and seeing peak versions of themselves. How are you going to peak if you ain't got no activity, even if you stay in shape between the fights? But Zoo and, and Bud was smart. They took fights. You know, the motherfuckers ain't sitting around waiting around. Ain't no conditioning like fighting it like an actual fight. You don't need an eight, 12 week camp. If you if you consistently fight, you don't need no eight to 12 week camp. You don't need to do hundreds and hundreds of rounds of sparring. If you fighting three, four times a year, really four times a year, once for each quarter, bro, you probably, you probably can cut sparring by shit, four, 50, 60%. But everybody think, oh, you taking punishment and, and you know, you, you're going to be, you know, you're going to be worn down, man. When you don't use them fast twitch muscles, bro, you lose them. But, you know, I'm not sure it's a, it's a clear plan for uh for the Charlo, for the Charlo, for any of these dudes. Bro. I'm going to talk about that. Sometimes you talk yourself into a video. Bro. I'm going to talk about that. It don't seem to be a clear, a clear plan for them guys from Aces over at PBC, so. Maybe something coming I ain't heard of, but uh, 
But yeah, for Charlo, man, it don't sound like Tim, like he trying to fight Tim Zoo. He trying to fight everybody. For, and when you start talking about Canelo and even he started coming around and talking about fighting Terrence Crawford. I know he responded to fighting Earl Spence on the I'm Athlete. I don't think it was a pot. I don't think it's something that he really want to do. But kind of when you get around there and start talking about, uh, when you start getting around there and talk, you know, you start talking about, you know, what do you want to do? It sounds like he he won a big money fight, bro. So, you know, they don't want to let Tim Zhu, uh, they don't want to let Tim Zhu and No Limit control the whole thing. I mean, they'd be going to Australia. What the undisputed champ look like going to Australia? The money got to be super bad. If he going overseas, it's got to be a neutral place. You know, maybe you know, uh, maybe they could pick it up for the uh, Fury and Wilder, uh, you know, co-feature car with Fury and Usyk and Wilder and. And but and Wilder and uh, AJ, and they could put it on that card or something like that. It'd be nice, you know, under car. You ain't got to pay them all that money neither. You know, but hey, we had to wait and see. But like I told y'all, I don't look like they, they trying to make that fight. So, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, the subscribe button, it's the bell icon button, hit all notifications. This is like I see Andy Ruiz in the pickup truck. <laughs> hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live, drop video. Hit the link tree. You can find me on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Hit the link tree. You can find me on Twitter, everywhere, TikTok, the whole nine. Appreciate y'all. Peace.